In the economic survey launched last week, coffee production dropped by 16% to record just 41,000 tons harvested in 2015 compared to the 49,500 in 2014. This earned Kenya 12.1 billion shillings by the end of last year, a figure that differs slightly from the numbers provided by the Nairobi Coffee Exchange. According to an NCE summary report, Kenya made a total of $142.5 million by the end of the 2015 crop season, roughly translating to 14.25 billion shillings. This was after selling 23.8 million kilos of coffee. In the seven months since the 2015-2016 season started in October last year, Kenyan coffee has earned $100.1 million on the market, having sold 24.3 million kilos. How much of this will reach the farmer's pocket is not known, but it will be several times less due to the cartels in the industry. These cartels have often been accused of manipulating the prices on the auction floor, claims that the NCE has repeatedly denied. A coffee farmer, for example, who currently has no clue, no idea what his product actually gains in the international market, he just sits back and awaits for whatever shall come his way. Although this year is recording higher volumes than last year, the NCE says these lower prices are due to equally low prices in New York, on which global prices are pegged. On the global market, coffee is now trading at 126.35 cents per pound, having gained 1.69%. In the last 12 months, though, the commodity has lost 12% of its value. Coffee started the season at the NCE at $155 per 50 kilo bag, rising to a peak of $238 per 50 kilo bag in February. But by last month, the price had dropped to $168.8. The true value of coffee is determined by the origin and the cup test, and Kenyan coffee is used world over to blend other low-quality coffees due to its good acidity. Let these coffee societies start value adding at that level. Let us work together to ensure that they get access to the international markets so that the true value of their crop goes to the farmer. The NCE, however, is hopeful of a recovery both at home and globally. There is coffee from eastern Kenya that will be traded at the auction soon, which is expected to fetch higher prices because of its higher quality. Zainab Wandati, MTV.